my channel, I have a French Bulldog, Sable. So he kind of, but first is Brindle, second is Cree, third is Fawn, which is black. There is what's called a blue French Bulldog, and uh, it's basically, second is Merle, and I'll insert a picture here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new, which you probably are, because this is still a very new channel, so thank you for checking it out. Today we are going to talk about something that has a lot of buzz within the French Bulldog community, and that is colors and prices and all that kind of stuff. So I honestly get asked all the time, how much should I pay for my Frenchie, all that kind of stuff, because it's well known that French Bulldogs are more on the pricier side, and but each coloring is different. So we're gonna break that down today, and then we're also just gonna talk about standard versus exotic colors. So thanks for joining me, and let's get into it. So I first wanna mention that I have a French Bulldog, his name is Monte Carlo, and he is a red sable. So he kind of has a reddish tint in his fur, but in most lights it just looks more of a brown color, and then he does have kind of a black dusting is what kind of I call it. He has a black muzzle and then kind of a black dusting across his back. So he is on the darker side. He is not a brindle and he is not quite black obviously, but kind of, you know, in that realm. Um, go check out my other videos and you'll be able to see him plenty. So we're gonna start with talking about standard colors. So there are a few standard colors within the French Bulldog breed and these are considered the colors that come with the breed itself and then we'll talk about the exotic colors and how they got brought in. But first is Brindle, second is Cream, which is like an off-white color, third is Fawn, which is a lighter color with a black muzzle, and then fourth is Black, which isn't AKC recognized actually, but it's a form of Brindle that doesn't show the Brindle pattern, which is interesting. And then the fifth is just considered pied, but it's just a variation of any of the four that I mentioned previously, so it's considered a pattern and not a color. Now standard French Bulldogs can run you anywhere between 2,500 and four grand. Now this is just the average price. Um, now you can probably get a French Bulldog for cheaper or for a standard French Bulldog for cheaper or for more, just depending on the breeder and the genes and stuff like that. Uh, so don't feel pressured if you're spending less or more. That's just the average. Now, Brindle, Fawn, and Cream are the only three recognized by the AKC. Those are the only three that can compete in any kind of like dog show or anything like that just because that is what's recognized. Because exotic, a lot of people argue that exotic colors are crossbred somewhere down the line and we'll get into that now. So. There is what's called a blue French Bulldog, and I'll insert a picture here. To me, it just looks gray with blue eyes. Now there's a blue fawn as well, and a lot of variations with that, blue and tan, all that kind of stuff. Tan uh, is basically what's considered a marking and can increase the price of the puppy, just because that's it carries that gene and it's more rare. Second is Merle, and I'll insert a picture here. It's basically a, I, I call it a moo cow pattern because to me it looks kind of like a cow. It's not quite a pied, it's different, but there's a lot of talk about Merles within the French Bulldog community and basically the reason why is because, because French Bulldogs don't come with that pattern in their purebred nature. It has to be crossbred somewhere down the line, but they do say that after six generations, it is considered a purebred again. So for example, Chihuahuas do carry the Merle pattern in their standard color list, so they had to have been crossbred with the French Bulldogs, if that makes sense. But if your puppy is six generations past when the crossbreeding happened, and it's not two Merles bred together, which can cause a lot of health issues, so make sure you are, if you're getting a French Bulldog Merle puppy, you do not have two Merles bred together, you should be fine. So I'm not hating on anyone who has a Merle French Bulldog. I think they're absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, so just thought I'd touch on that. And then there is a lilac or an Isabella, which is a double lilac. And that's basically like a lighter blue in my opinion. I'll insert a picture. And then chocolate is also an exotic color or another word for that would be liver. A lot of people say liver color. And to me, it's just like a brown color, exactly what you would think. They do tend to have lighter eyes. And then there is a furry component 
which is not a color, but more just of a jean. And those are very expensive and are considered long haired dogs compared to a typical French Bulldog, which is a short hair and doesn't need as many as much grooming or stuff like that. So I'll insert a picture there too. They're adorable. I personally don't want one because I prefer short haired dogs, but they're, they're super cute. And then again, there is a platinum color, which is a lilac. There could be a lilac platinum or something like that, which is just more of a cream colored dog. So back to the standard colors, it's kind of covered in cream, but instead of having like a black nose, black paw pads, it's a lighter color. So very beautiful dogs. They will run you very expensive. I would say the average price for an exotic French Bulldog will run you anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000. Now again, you can spend more or less on these exotic colors, but that's just the average of what to expect from most breeders. Sorry if you hear the squeaking, that's Monty. But yes, yeah, so that's kind of the price breakdown and what each color is in standard versus exotic. Now, you know, Monty is technically not considered an, a standard color because he does have that, what's called the red. Um, and I didn't mention the red in this video, but it is a pretty, it's, it's not very rare, it's pretty standard. So it's kind of shifting into that standard category, but it is not recognized by the AKC. So there's so many different colors and patterns and markings that French Bulldogs do have. And I'm not super like, knowledgeable about the genes itself that's kind of up i leave that up to the breeders i just do kind of the research on you know what's healthy what's not and really you can't go wrong unless you're buying a french bulldog from someone who doesn't know a lot about genes or is you know crossbreeding inbreeding that kind of thing so don't be scared to get a moral french dog french bulldog for example but just because you know as long as they're doing safe practices you know, you're gonna get a healthy dog for the most part. So just be a knowledgeable Frenchie owner and you can't go wrong. So thank you guys for watching this video. I have so many other videos on my channel that you can check out, male versus female, what to expect when bringing home a Frenchie. So feel free to check those out. I'm sorry, Monty's running around. If that's distracting, he's being kind of loud, but I appreciate, I appreciate you guys tuning in to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.